where we are now, the final with Rosie the Riveter against Darkness. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we've got Darkness against Rosie the Riveter. They're going to battle it out on Extreme Warriors on the new TNN. Thank you. Welcome back to Robot Wars. Right now, Rosie the Riveter and Darkness descend on the arena to finish each other off. We're gearing up for the next battle. Whoever wins this goes to the grand finale. I have Darkness over here, Rosie the Riveter over here. What are you going to do to this team? Well, we're just going to fly in and shoot them down. In the last battle, you were against a couple of kids. This machine looks really mean. Yeah, this is definitely a formidable opponent. Uh, they're veterans. they got a great machine. Um, we're, we're confident, but we're going to have to be really careful because anything could happen. Okay. Yeah. Darkness, what's going to happen to them? We're going to roll in and shoot them down. Do you think your weapons are up for the battle? Definitely. I think we're going to uh, come in, cut them, and uh, it's going to be mostly a pushing match, and I think we'll do all right. Okay. Well, good luck. From Gresham, Oregon. Rosie the Riveter 2. From Acton, California, Darkness. Roboteer, stand by. There's Valak Sykes and Scott Millenbaugh for Darkness. And Chris and Sharon Gatman with Thomas Beretti for Rosie. And the house bots for the final, Dead Metal with that circular saw. Join in head, Sir Kilowatt. Three, two, one. Here it is for a place in the grand finals. It's almost a battle of good versus evil. Rosie for the good old US of A, and Darkness sponsored by Satan, according to them. Both four-wheel drive bots, both going head-to-head -head as Sharon Gatman looks on. Rosie's pushing Darkness right back into the rails. Rosie's got full drive power, but Darkness has not given up too easy. Darkness definitely a lot more traction here. The real strategy is neither one of these have major weapons to deal with, so we're just talking about pushing here. Major suspension going on with all the pumped-up air and Darkness's wheels. But Rosie is relentless, coming after Darkness, pushing Darkness around. There's some major ramming going on out there. Now, Rosie's got those spikes in reverse. And look as this over and under move goes. You can see the breakaway weapon come right off of Darkness. Well, they weren't using it anyway as Rosie goes head on right into Darkness. And Darkness feels the pain. Darkness is bent in the front and gets back down on its wheels again. Well, they're trying to figure out how to stay alive as Dead Metal's trying to figure out how to kill them. And in all the commotion, they go and hit the pit trigger. What a great battle this is. These guys are very evenly matched. Similar in design, similar in power. Rosie's just got the lower center of gravity. That might be the only advantage I've seen so far. The audience is chanting for you know it, the pit. As Darkness's flags have been completely torched, they're both in the corner patrol zone, and the house bots are gonna make them feel it. Dead Metal is in there. Rap bots running interference. The Gadmans are looking on to figure out what's next. As Killerot is dangling Darkness over the pit. And Darkness gets away, fortunately. As the 10 second clock counts down, Rosie comes in for one more smash. As this one goes to the judges. Thank you. Well, that's what it's all about here at Robot Wars. Hanging and banging, knocking and socking. We saw plenty of that. But obviously, it's going to be up to the judges. So while you at home make up your minds, we'll leave it to the judges to make up theirs. Who will it be, Rosie the Riveter or Darkness on their way to become the Robot Wars Extreme Warriors champion? Let's take a look at some action. Well, as the judges try to decide on style, damage, control, and aggression, let's have a look at how even it really was. From the beginning, Rosie was having plenty of ramming power. 
But Darkness was giving it up as well. I sure wouldn't want to be a judge on this one. Unanimous decision. It will be Rosie the Riveter moving on. Unfortunately for Darkness, guys, uh, I've got my own feelings about this. You see, in one of the truly touching moments in Robot Wars history, Chris and Sharon uh, shared a nice embrace. And uh, I noticed you guys uh, no embrace on your side. Maybe uh, you two are not really close enough to move on to the finals. That's all right. We're, we just uh, enjoyed ourselves, and uh, we, we lost to a better bot. That's all right. And it was an excellent, excellent Good final. Point. Guys, uh, it looked like two very similarly matched up robots, but apparently Rosie had more power, seeming to kind of bull the uh, darkness robot at will. Yeah, I, we had, uh, I think we had better traction. They're an awesome machine. They're really difficult to maneuver. We could get under them, but um, we didn't. We tried to stay away from the pit because I wasn't sure that we were going to be able to get them in there without going in ourselves. Well, it looked to me like you were the guys who opened up the pit, and I was a little surprised, but I thought you could have just kind of slacked off and taken the decision, but that's not what the Rosie the Riveter <laughs> team right. is all about. Right. You tried to put them in the pit, it didn't work out, but you won the decision, a unanimous decision, and I wish you luck as you march on to the Extreme Warriors Championship. Thanks, That's it for this week, but make sure to tune in next week when six more robots fight it out and attempt to become the Robot Wars Extreme